There is outrage this noon hour at the senseless murder of an 80-year-old woman trying to defend herself against would-be robbers using a broom. Atlanta police say the woman was opening up a laundromat in the 2800 block of Martin Luther King Drive in southwest Atlanta when she was attacked. CBS Atlanta's Christopher King is live near the scene with new details. Christopher? Tracy, a laundromat owner and grandmother, is gunned down inside her own laundromat. Well-wishers have put flowers up on the door. The family of Duran Yu is grieving inside. Her family can't believe someone would murder her inside her store where she works so hard. You know what? There is a no word in this world I can describe it right at the moment. Kevin Cho is still struggling to accept the most awful news a son can imagine. A robber shot and killed his 80-year-old mother, Duran Yu. And she's so tiny, you can't even just uh, grab her with a one arm and uh, lift it. Cho says his mom was a hard-working yet gentlewoman and a loving grandmother. She was so sweet that she cared about all the families, the kids and, and all that. Family members cry outside as police pour through evidence inside. You opened this laundromat 15 years ago here on Martin Luther King Drive. Her family began worrying about her safety after some recent robberies. But worry turned to unthinkable grief. Police say just after 7 this morning, as you was opening for the day, a man came in demanding money. The grandmother tried defending herself with only a broom. The man gunned her down, all for a handful of change. In the morning, uh, like, uh, what can she have? I just pick up about eight quarters. It was in, uh, you know, full of blood, and uh, she was holding it. Cho says even though his mom was 80 and frail, she still kept busy working every day and staying active. Now she working hard. She still worked. She still drive, and she still participated in this community and, and all that. Now the gunman ran off heading west on MLK. It isn't clear how much money he stole. Police are still looking for him. We are live in southwest Atlanta. Christopher King, CBS Atlanta News.